Hi, my name is Jaden Miramis, and my presentation is about the 1972 Hong Kong landslides. The Hong Kong landslides of 1972 are highlighted by two major slides, the first being in Sao Ping and the second occurring at Poshan Road. These geological hazards claimed the lives of 138 people on June 18, 1972, and highlighted the sheer force of nature while also illustrating the dangers that come with inadequate urban development. Many factors led to the high death tolls of the 72 landslides, which included erosion, above average rainfalls, and poor city construction efforts. Here on the map to the left is the location of Sao Ping, and to the right is the location of Po Shan Road. Both the climate and the location of the landslides played a large role in its destruction. Hong Kong welcomes a subtropical climate that features warm and humid springs and summers and mild autumns and winters. The warmer months of June to September feature heavy rains that come with the south-southwest monsoons that form in the nearby South China Sea. The landscape of Hong Kong is extremely hilly and contains an extremely high density of people. To efficiently profit off the little space, Hong Kong at the time and, and today is constructed in a steep step-like plan that when factoring, factoring in the decomposed and eroded granite and volcanic rock that makes up the foundation, foster a way for extremely destructive landslides. These two images illustrate the verticality and steepness of Hong Kong's layout. Um, both of these images are post landslide of 1972. The days leading up to June 18th featured rains twice the average for that time of year. In the case of Sao Ping, the fill slope, which is an unstable slope of loose material, had flooded around noon, and by 12.40 p.m., a heavy slope of earth came crashing down on the low-income neighborhood below, burying many and killing 71. At Poshan Road, the trigger of intense and sustained rainfall eroded the slope grounds and also paired the anthropogenic erosion of drilling into the earth's surface for the development of buildings. At Poshan, two large residential buildings came toppling down with other buildings falling victim and resulting in 67 total deaths. These two slides are post landslides um, and the Poshan destruction is on the left and Sao Mao Ping destruction is on the right. Like many natural disasters, we question how we could prevent and mitigate the issue from occurring again. In the case of Samuel Ping, the placement of, high, of a high density squatter village could have been changed. And at Poshan Road, a higher priority in supporting and strengthening the foundation of large scale building development would have probably saved lives during these de destructive slides. There were signs on smaller landslides previously. And while landslides are unavoidable in the natural world, mitigation techniques and heeding to the signs that the earth gives us helps us keep each other and our belongings safe. Here's my works cited page and that concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for listening.